this is not uh, a refrigerator this is not a freezer this is not uh, a cardboard but it is a homemade incubator just as you're saying you can't just imagine from these materials surrounded by me we're going to be having incubator out of this it will be a homemade incubator this incubator you're seeing it is powered by a kerosene lamp this is the kerosene lamp uh, this is kerosene this is our thermometer matchbox just to light the kerosene lamp nothing much from this required to run such an inch better it is 300 eggs capacity right here let us first check on the materials we're having this is cotton guys this is cotton yes of course materials to be used equipment this is a boss so all these are the one we're going to be using this is a coffee tray going to have this one yes then on this side this is timber this is wood All of this sandpaper, this is vanish. Of course, we're going to make it looking good, so we'll be painting using vanish blush. Wood glue. Nails. It is disturbing to open. Me open. Nails. Handle these are patterns to handle our door, then other types, then other types of nails. Yes, of course, here we are just missing a kerosene lamp thermometer to make it complete. Come and we join the wood. This is side A, B. C and then D. Now it's time to join. We want to join and we see. We want to join and you see how it looks.
yes it is time this is our new kerosene lamp just as we saying we are unwrapping it unwrapping if you have never seen a kerosene lamp this is one the one we are unwrapping Our kerosene. We're going to place It has catched. We reduce the flame just as you see. It is lighted just now. Now, what we want, it is all about to place it inside. But briefly, uh, before placing this kerosene lamp inside, I want to take you through how we managed to come up with this each better. Just as you see, this time around, we gave it a nice look, just as you see in this form. You see on top, uh, everything, the door is on top. Uh, everything that is going to be taking place, it is, uh, we're going to be opening on the top, just as you see. We gave it a nice look. We gave it a glass. Guys, I'm talking about a glass, just as you see. So it will be very easy for us just to stand here and we read and we see what is taking place inside here in the inch better. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, already opened our inch better and then we want to place this kerosene lamp just inside yeah our kerosene lamp will be placed here will be placed there then afterwards this is our thermometer just to help us to read temperatures and humidity it has that part for temperatures and at the same time it has that also that part for humidity so we'll be placing it just on either these trays we having a, a upper tray here and then the lower one just down there just as you're seeing that is the inside part ah uh, briefly to take you through what is happening inside here of course all around our box we tried also as usual to insulate our box uh, using cotton using cotton then wrapped with the, a blacker cloth the cotton one uh, you know very well what we need inside here it is all about to uh, maintain heat inside uh, not allowing our heat inside to be escaping that's what we're going to do that's why we used blacker, uh, blacker, uh, blacker cloth and then uh, 
insulated using cotton just as you're seeing i told you already that it is 300x capacity uh, we having a lower tray and then the upper one where we'll be laying all our eggs then afterwards uh, this time around i didn't give it water uh, water beans in for uh, just for humidity but what i did we just gave it a gap from the first tray to on to the floor that's where we will be regulating our humidity this time around so that is it just inside what i think it has a nice look it is easy and this time around it will be very easy for us to regulate temperatures to turn eggs and everything it is small as you're seeing it but according to the way we managed to make it it is accommodating 300 eggs capacity just as you're seeing it is portable it is everything and it is looking nice people you've been uh, uh, complaining about the other bigger inch better we made first and you've been talking about the portable one the smaller one the cheaper one we've come up with this one what i think everyone will be uh, able to manage to make this if you follow uh, the steps we've uh we've gone through you can make your own at your own farm or at your own home you can make it just as we made it this one uh it is for one of my clients we've come here and uh, we tried to set this for her very soon she's starting to hatch her own chicks at her own farm you know the struggle moving eggs from your farm to where hatcheries are it is not easy but this is a game changer what i know yes so uh we've already lighted it uh we're going to take like a three hours we come back here we check we see whether we've already met the uh, required temperatures for hatching eggs then afterwards maybe we, we're going to be spending a whole night reading temperatures maintaining temperatures then in the morning it will be to set their eggs and what i know you'll be here as we are setting here eggs then afterwards after 21 days we'll be also come back here and we see how this inch better will be performing but what i know it is all about to maintain temperatures inside here everything will just move this is our new look and uh, what i think it is a game changer guys i don't know whether i'm the one seeing but it is looking nice it is looking nice so uh, it is for the client if you're out there i always put our numbers down there uh, you can contact me we make one of this kind or any other type of incubator as you know our series of these homemade incubators very cheap easy convenient and alike lots of love the chicks sign out